Like, yo, hey, with Gildum time. I got a guess who's been here before. Uh, hi. I've been here many times. This is Chaz. Yes. Yeah, you're a regular on the show. I am a regular, aren't I? Yeah, this is like your third. This is your third introduction to the whole entire third segment. Third introduction. This is this is Chaz, the the, the 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 guy who comes here all the time. Oh yeah, absolutely. And this is why you're like a common staple into World of Final Fantasy. Yes. You're Chocobo. Metal Choco Chick. No man, you're just Chocobo. 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 Hmm. So have you seen what... yourself lately in the game you're badass of course I am you have like the resurrection ability and you did have you some know... sweet kicks did you know that I have that ability in real life too oh no way <laughs> yep how do you think uh, how do you think Tupac keeps making music um holograms he, he he borrowed my resurrection ability. Your resurrection ability? Yeah. Uh. Resur. Wait, what? I thought you said I have a resurrection ability. Yeah, but I'm talking about, like, you in real life. What? Yeah, I have a resurrection ability, and I let Tupac borrow it just to make some more music. Well, I mean, so you can communicate with the dead? No, I he he well, talked I mean, to me so before he died. <laughs> he talked to you on what? He talked to me before I died. He oh, died. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait. So I I got a question then. How do you okay. know when to resurrect him? He he borrowed it. Like I I gave him a, like you know a blank checkbook. So he he uses it whenever he wants. Oh, so he uses it from beyond the grave. Yeah. Okay. I mean I mean he's already written like checks so like when he dies he just like cashes them in like he but like instead of dying it just like uses one of the things he wrote uh, oh okay so i i got a question okay what are we going to discuss in this part i have no idea yeah i, I don't just, either i'm man. making i'm just making dumb conversation as you know oh okay my favorite well, i thing. mean like is, is this kind of an awkward situation? Because in the last part, I mean, like, I, I was talking about prom and stuff like that, you know. I was kind of going a little more uh, on, on my own experiences. But in this part, it's like I'm just hanging out with you, just kind of talking about things. I even know what game's playing right now, but, I mean, it, it's probably I good. I couldn't tell you either because I don't even know. I, I, I don't see anything. Well, I mean, you're not supposed to. Good. I don't want to see it. <laughs> who who said or who decided? Who? Wait a minute. I don't want to see anything. Wait, what? I can't. I can't see anything. I'm gonna blind myself, Oedipus style. Nah, man. Well, I mean, okay. Actually, I, I don't take that do back. That. Um, do that. Why, why don't we go with like a more current event sort of situation? Okay. All right. What, what's the what's the what's the haps in the world? Well, today? I mean, I was gonna ask you, what's the haps in the world? Uh, well, I mean, I read the news occasionally. I mean, oh, I, knew that. I wasn't, I wasn't going for that, that like. Oh, extensive. you mean personal? Yeah, stuff. man, I was talking more personal. Like, you know, what's going on with your life? Well, my uncle died. Oh, that, that's <laughs> kind of morbid. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean like, I, I, like, I, like, are are you holding up all right? Like, is, yeah, is there anything I, you need to like kind of discuss? Get off your chest. I mean, I mean, no, it's okay. it's okay. I mean, it was mostly my family who needed the grief, and I, I was the one who was there for them. Okay, so you're kind of the support in the in the family. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my uncle was a great guy. He's the one. I would say he's one of the reasons why I got into video games. Oh, hey. I, did. I mean, I, I share that in common. Also, he bought me um, he bought me Super Mario Brothers three. Really? When I was younger, yeah. Super Mario Brothers 3. So, like, for the NES. Yeah, yeah. He bought... I mean, I had an NES. Yeah. And he got me that game. I mean, that's super classic. That is, like, one of the top ten games, I think, for the NES. Like, I, I want to say it's number one, but just in case, like, I'm wrong and it's, it's everyone a... has their own opinion, it, I'm going to say it's in the top ten. 
It's it's one of my favorite games. Too. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just it's just a really fun game. Yeah, I mean, the, all the worlds. That's what really that's what really is cool about that game is like all the different worlds. I mean, sure you could just use the the flute to like warp a million times, but then you miss all the cool like themes. Like oh, absolutely. The like water I, I figure. I figure if you're gonna play that game, you have to at least like kind of go to each world at once. Yeah, at least once. I mean, if you're gonna speed run it and like play over and over again, I mean, then you would use the warp button. Yeah. Play through all the worlds one time. That's fun. Yeah, I mean, like even even myself because like I I've done it. I've experienced like a lot of the worlds. I have yet to beat it, but at the same time, I've at least gone through all the worlds and. Have like kind of experienced like what each world has to offer, and yeah. I mean certain worlds do ring out a lot. Like they do, like have a much better memory than other ones. Like I remember World Two is the desert world, and it's not that great. Uh, that sun. Yeah. Well, like that's that's the real <laughs> memorable part about it. It's like holy shit, the sun is after me. Oh <laughs> it's man, like, I what, did, so what did Mario time. do to piss off Mother Nature? I think it's the sun who has a problem. Like yeah. you just, I, you, I shine all day long, and you don't appreciate what I do. You just walk around, and then you use fluorescent lights when I'm not out. Can't you just honor the darkness when I want to go to sleep, <laughs> huh? Can't you just honor my brother, the moon? Yeah. Let's be real though. The moon would not be the sun's brother. Uh, the the moon would probably be his like nerdy. Nephew or cousin or something. I, I, I would think like super distant family. The moon and the sun, they like. They don't the, even know like, that they're related. Like, like the sun, the sun is the guy you elect to class president. Mm-hmm. The moon is the guy who like. No one even knows about. He got the canvas, and he's like he like constantly walks around high school with a canvas. And he never actually paints things, but you suspect he paints things because he has a canvas. I mean, it makes sense. It's probably the thing everyone would assume. I mean, like, let's just be honest. If you carry something, you figure they use it, right? Yeah, I mean, I carried, I carry, I used to carry a like a briefcase. Mm-hmm. I kept my books in it because I thought it was funny that like. Hey, look at this high school guy with a briefcase. <laughs> and everyone thought I was like really official that I was like part of the um we had this like I don't know if you would call it debate team. They kind of like we called it mock trial. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. A mock trial. I mean, it's yeah, not these, it's... these were like all these were like aspiring lawyers and they right. would like compete against other schools like they would have a case or whatever. Everybody thought I was on I was um I was part of that team. I'm uh, like, no, I just have a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, it, it, it. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it leaves an impression that people yeah, assume definitely. that you're a part of, even if yeah. you're not. Because, like, you're dressed the part, so everyone's going to assume you're you're a part of it. Yeah. But anyways, um... So I'm sorry to hear about your uncle. I really am. Yeah. I mean that that's Thank some pretty tough. That's some pretty tough. Um, I he 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 was. My grandparents were not. Um, they didn't really respond well to that. I mean, like I, I can I can understand that. It can be a really tough thing to deal with, and I like I can understand your family going through a lot of grief. Uh, but at the same time, if you want to like move on to a different topic and not really yes, linger too let's, much, let's, now I mean I the whole week was like really hectic between both jobs, that the funeral, everything. I'm finally slowing down. Oh, that's so good. So I got some like I got some breathing room right now. Yeah, it's I mean nice like to... I I was reading the Facebook posts because yes. I mean you and I were Facebook friends, so it's like every now and then like I will. I will read my friends' like status updates to just kind of see what's going on with their lives. Yes, and so I, I was like, I was seeing a lot of, I was seeing a lot that you're taking on, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm overly busy. I yeah. just want to, I just want a uh, one day off. Is it too much to ask for? No, nah, one man. day. Like, like ev- everyone gets like a day off for like you know time to recharge because you know uh, working. 
24-7 is kind of really difficult. I mean, I get time off, of course, but it's only a few hours. I mean, I, like, tomorrow, I mean, I, 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 right now I work in, I work this morning, but if I didn't work this morning, I would only have like five hours to myself, and mm-hmm. some of those hours are for sleep. Uh, yeah. If we didn't have to sleep, I mean, imagine how much stuff we could get done. Oh, man. I'd have so much stuff done. I wouldn't. If I didn't have to sleep, I could game all night if I wanted to. <laughs> Feed your addiction, man. Feed the addiction. Yeah. Uh, I, I was going to say, like, uh, I can't wait for the future. Because if we, if, like, you know, everyone's getting cybernetic, like, implants. Oh, you know I am. Oh, you know what I'm going to become? Are you going to be Cyborg I, from Team Titans? No, man. No. You ever see Nixon from Futurama when he gets reelected into the White oh, House? Oh, I, I'm totally turning myself into a brain in the jar. <laughs> or, like, better example. If I, I'm pretty sure you haven't seen this, so I'm going to try to describe it as best I can. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm sure someone out there will know exactly what I'm talking about. So, in Dragon Ball Z, okay. there was this movie. It, it was one of the earlier movies, I think. I, uh, I want to say, like, number three. Five, okay. But I could be completely wrong, so don't don't hold me, don't hold that against me. Uh, but there was, this, but like the villain was kind of obscure because it, it was like, I think it was like a scientist in the Red Ribbon Army or something. I'm not sure, but uh, if I remember correctly, his name was Doctor Willow. Okay. And so basically, he starts off by sending a bunch of henchmen to go after uh, Master Roshi. Because oh, he was, man. like, the most powerful warrior back in the day. He was, like, the strongest fighter back in the day, and so he had a reputation. So, like, his reputation still preceded him, or at least that's what I remember. And so, uh, but, of course, it turns out it's Goku. It's always been Goku. It always will be Goku. And, Goku's the greatest. Yeah. And so, I, I remember, like, uh, eventually it gets into, like, him having to fight Dr. Willow. And when you first see him, he's just, like, this this massive, like, machine where you see, like, this brain in a jar. Yeah. But then, like, later in the movie, he, he's just this giant, like, cybernetic, like, uh, monstrosity. Mm-hmm. But, it, like, it looks super sleek at the same time. And he's, like, he's just, like, basically trying try to destroy everything with his death lasers and his powerful kung fu grip oh my god he's got kung fu grip yeah man and he, he's got a tell it was awesome ah oh. and he had death lasers he had death lasers and if i'm remembering this incorrectly i mean uh well i guess i i guess i don't remember it, it the way it was but i remember it being pretty amazing even though it was a very lackluster, like, um, battle in comparison to what the series has become. Mm-hmm. So I never really was into Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. I mean, oh, I, man, I mean... like, that that was my jam back in the day when I was first, like, starting to get into anime. I mean, I, when it was on TV, like, I remember, like, early in the morning, it was, like, Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon and then Pokemon. Yeah, man. Like, I, that I, was I'd, three... be, I'd be awake for Pokemon, but... Oh, I, like, I, I, I remember eventually it got to the point where, like, Pokemon, like, was on after school. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. Uh, I feel like I need to give my DBZ rant, because, I mean, what better time than actually bringing up DBZ and then actually ranting about it? Because... Like, I do this a lot with my friends, but mm-hmm. at the same time, uh, I haven't really done it on the channel. Right. Okay. So, if you, if you want me to, like, get into it, basically, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. You know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Let's, let's hear about some Dragon Ball okay. Z with your opinion on Well, it, it's a good show, or at least it was. I got tired of it, but here's the reason why. You see, when I was first starting to get into anime, I had to, mm-hmm. like go on Cartoon Network, mainly Toonami, because, you know, they did a lot of that stuff. You had Tom, he was, like, the host, and he was, like, 
uh, he, he was like, guy. yeah, he was a robot guy, and he was really cool because he was like, yo, check out this thing, it's it's awesome. And you'd go watch it, and you're like, oh man, Dragon Ball Z, I've never seen anything like it. And at the time, I really hadn't because you know I, I I didn't really watch the animes. But then you know yeah. I got all this exposure to like Dragon Ball Z, Outlaw Star, Sailor Moon. Poke, well, actually, Pokemon was like uh, the WB, but I, I digress. Yeah. You know, that's not important. The point is, you know, I was watching Dragon Ball Z, and of course, I would covet that thing and hide it from my, my folks, because deep down, I was like, they'll never understand it. And, and to this day, I still choose to believe that's probably the best move, because had they seen it, they, they'd be like, and you're not watching this. <laughs> we better not see you watching DBZ. You know, I, I just feel like, to a certain point, like, you, you just show someone something like that, and they're just going to be like, um, I don't think I should wa let my kid watch this. Mm -hmm. But I digress, you know, that's not the point, I'm getting off topic. What I'm trying to say is, so I was watching it, and so you you, you have to rely on the, sh like, the Cartoon Network and Toonami, and so you're just watching it, and you're, like, watching them go through Raditz, who was, like, the first villain, it was Goku's brother. That he didn't oh, even yeah. know he had. And so you're, you're, it's, like, building up, and it's like, alright, this is pretty awesome. And then, and then Raditz is like, I'm, I'm, I'm at, I got, like, two other friends, I got two other Saiyan friends, and they're coming to Earth, because they know about this thing. And so, like, you're like, oh, man, there's even more of them, and they're stronger, and it's like Goku dies, and it's like a big what the fuck moment, but at the same time, you're just like there, being like, oh man, I can't wait to see what happens, and you see him go to like Snake Way, and you make, and he makes his way to King Kai's little planet, and he gets trained to use the spirit bomb and the Kaioken, or however you pronounce it, because I don't do the Japanese lingu linguits whatever my point is <laughs> yeah. it doesn't matter you because you're just amped up for like everything that's going on goku learns shit and he's about right to use it and before that you gotta see his friends get pummeled into the dirt and they all die oh a lot of them do and so you know you have napa and vegeta and the cybermen and like and, and and the scouter that says over 9,000! Yes! Except in, in like, the manga, it was, like, over 8,000 or something. I don't know. Point is, 9, it doesn't matter. You're seeing them, like, do a thing. And then they beat up Vegeta. And it's like, yeah, but, like, Frieza, he's much more powerful. And they're like, oh, no, we have to go to Namek or something. Actually, I don't even think they knew about Frieza until later. But my point is, they, they go to Namek because... Piccolo ties, and they're like, we need we need to wish our friends back, but we have no Dragon Balls, because Piccolo was linked to Kami, and Kami basically had, like, he was linked to the Dragon Balls, and without him, they're inert. The balls are inert. Exactly. And so, <laughs> the th point is, they have to figure out a way to go Namek, and so they finally figure out a way to go Namek, because um, it turns out, Kami had a spaceship when he came from Namek. No. Yeah, because he he's a Namekian. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And, and so like you you're you're getting amped. They're getting to they're getting to Namek. They go to Namek. They fight some alien guys that are part of Frieza's gang. They learn about Frieza. Things happen. It's building up. It's going to the Genu Force. And then right when it's like they're confronting the Genu Force, which was the next set of bad guys, and they're they're all powerful. Um, and Goku, Goku hasn't arrived yet, but he's on his way, and things are happening, and then all of a sudden you go back to Raditz. Yep, that's how it's <laughs> always you go been. back to Raditz, and so it's like, here, here's Raditz, there he is, he's just like, I'm Goku's brother, and, and stuff like that, <laughs> except it's not Goku, it's Kakarot, and you're like... Who the fuck is Kakra? Oh, it's his Saiyan name. Okay, whatever. And so you just you keep on going. You keep on watching because it's like, oh, man, maybe it's just me. But I want to see what they were building up to. So you wait. You see him fight Vegeta and Nappa. You see him get the spaceship. You see him go back to Namek after going through fake Namek because there was this whole arc where that was a thing for like two episodes. They get back to planet Namek. 
You see him fighting a bunch of Frieza's henchmen, like Zarabon and uh, Dodora, or whatever their names were. And then <laughs> you get to the Ganyu Force, and finally, <laughs> the confrontation you've been waiting for. They go through, like, the one guy, I don't even remember his name. They go through the other guy, who's, like, um, a lot larger. And they do that thing, and it's like, okay, finally, things are happening. And they, they like, beat them all up, and it's like, yay! And then Goku, and it's like, oh, sweet! And then you go to Captain Ganyu, and it's like, okay, finally, we're gonna go defeat the last guy. And then, all of a sudden, you realize, Bye. we're back to Raditz again. Back <laughs> on Earth, back. episode one! I'm Goku's brother, I mean Kakarot! And so you, you go, and you're like... Oh man, what? No! What's going on here? Why can I not see what happens to Captain Ganyu? But you still watch it regardless, because you're like, it's got to add up to something eventually. And so you do. You, you watch it, you keep on watching it, and you go and you eventually get to Ganyu and they defeat him because he uses this frog transformation thing. I don't know. Basically, he can swap bodies and he swaps it with a frog. Don't ask. It's not important. Point is, now we're on Frieza. And Frieza has, like, multi-forms. He has, like, this one form where he's, like, you know, he looks like he, what he is. And then he transforms into his dad or something that looks like it. And then he transforms into this weird xenomorph-like thing. And then, eventually, it's like, I have a super ultra mega form. And it's like, oh, what is a super ultra mega form? And right when you're about to see it. Back to Raditz. <laughs> and then you're like, no, come on, man. So for about six months of your life, at the certain point at like 4.30, you're like, I got to go watch Dragon Ball Z because maybe eventually I'll see what Frieza looks like. And you're like, oh, but but that's like six months of my life. But you waste it anyways because you're like, I got to know how this plays out. I need to know, so you do it, and you go see Frieza, and it's like, oh, he looks amazing, sort of. I don't really know how I feel about it. Why does he have glassy, glossy glass lips? Whatever, point is, he's being the shit out of Vegeta, and then there's Goku, and then he transforms into a Super Saiyan, and you're like, this is amazing. I wonder how this is going to wrap up, and then, all of a sudden, back to goddamn Raditz. Raditz all the time. <laughs> And you're like, no, come on, man. <laughs> and you're, you're keep on watching it. Now it's six and a half months of your life. They just keep adding a half month. <laughs> and, you know, you do it. You watch it. And you're like, okay, fine. I don't care. I had nothing to do with my life anyways except go to school. But who cares? Who needs an education when I'm watching Dragon Ball Z? And you do it. And you go, and you watch it, and you find Goku fighting Frieza, and it's like, oh, this is amazing. He's using the spirit bomb. No way. Wait a second. The whole, all of Namek's blowing up. Destruction. Imminent catastrophe. What the fuck am I supposed to assume now? And all of a sudden, you just see Frieza being like, Destructo Disc. And he uses it on Goku, slices himself up. Things start concluding. You're all happy. Like, all all of everything is, like, wished back to life because, I don't know, the dragon was, like, Brian somewhere along those lines. Point is, everyone's brought back. Everything's happy. But then, all of a sudden, when you're about to get that happy conclusion, <laughs> back to Raditz! Back to Raditz. <laughs> oh! Did I mention Freezer wasn't the end of it? Because you thought, oh, hey, what could possibly go wrong? The happy conclusion I always wanted, right? No. There was, like, the Dark Water Mist saga where you had Garlic Jr. from that one movie all the way back somewhere along the time of Raditz. But you're familiar with that because, you know, they played that shit all the time. <laughs> And you're like, oh, what could possibly go wrong? Everything, everything could possibly go wrong. So you waste about three years of your life eventually watching the beat up Raditz, Napa, <laughs> Vegeta, Frieza, anything in between that. And you're like, now, 
the moment you've been waiting for. A further installment of Dragon Ball Z. And you're like, holy shit. <laughs> I've been waiting for this my whole entire life. All 14 years. And you know what they reveal eventually? There's androids. Oh, two androids. This mysterious time travel time traveler from the future he comes he's like there's androids and you're like no way androids oh yeah and the mysterious time traveler he's scared shitless by these guys but at the same time you see him dice up frieza like it's nothing and his father and you're like holy shit if he's freaking out about the androids well clearly that's more it's more important because like he could just Kill off the blast guy, bad guy that I was waiting 900 years about. <laughs> he can't. No one gives a shit about Frieza anymore. It's all about these androids. And finally, you see the androids after, like, I don't even know. Point is, it doesn't matter because we're going all the way back to Raditz. <laughs> back to Raditz. All the way back to goddamn Raditz. <laughs> Do you hate Raditz? No, apparently Raditz is the most powerful villain in DBZ because apparently he just won't die. I think eventually I just kind of accepted, man, Raditz keeps getting revived. I don't know how, but he apparently has that one power that you have, Chaz. Yep. Actually, I let Raditz have that power. That's what you... he, he, um. You're responsible yeah. for like <laughs> how many years of my 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 teenage slash childhood year? I don't even know. <laughs> I I started when I was like eleven or ten or maybe I was twelve. I don't even remember. I lost a large part of my brain. Oddly enough, Imperfect Cell was my favorite villain because like he had the weird creepy draining power, and you saw him graphically just drain the life essence of this man until he literally was. Nothing. But did was he? But did it go back to Raditz? Yes, it did go back to Raditz. It always goes back to Raditz. You can't escape Raditz. It's purgatory, man. I swear to God, when I when I die, I'm just gonna be in this room. There's gonna be a TV, and it's gonna be like next time on Dragon Ball Z. Everything you wish you could watch. And then, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna wait, like, some absurd amount of time. And then all of a sudden, now, time for Dragon Ball Z. And it's Raditz. There he is, There he Raditz. is, Raditz. God damn. Uh, isn't that the episode where, like, Gohan has that stupid hat? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Because he starts out with the stupid hat and then becomes competent. And it's, like, you know, amazing seeing him, like, kind of develop over a period of time. But then it's heartbreaking when you see him go all the way back. Or all the way back to where he <laughs> because was. Because back to Raditz. <laughs> with Uncle Raditz. Uncle Raditz. Uh, did Uncle Raditz want to kill Gohan? <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think he did. I think he was just using him as leverage. But at the same time, it wasn't, like... You know, he, was, he he cared much about Gohan. It was just kind of like, come here, you stupid brat. Now stay in the spaceship so that I can lure your father. I want to kill your father. Oh, absolutely. Well, I don't even know. I, actually, I think, I think the whole point was, you know, Goku, back in the day, his whole thing was like, you know, he, he did the thing that he was supposed to do from the Saiyan planet, like come to Earth and take over it. As a young child, which was kind of weird when you think about it, but hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like dwell on it too much because the point is, uh, he bumped his head, forgot everything, and became like a normal citizen of Earth. Happy go lucky. Back to Raditz. Back to Raditz. <laughs> oh, he's back to Raditz. <laughs> I mean, that 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 right there, that is like the definition of insanity, you know. Keep doing the same thing, hoping for a different result. And then it just goes back to Raditz. Every time. Every goddamn time. Here, I was thinking, oh man, I hope I can see what Perfect Cell does. Oh man, 
I wonder if Ajibu is going to do a thing. I wonder if he's going to get serious. Oh man, I hope Majin Buu, like the real Majin Buu, is actually amazing. I gotta be honest. You wanna know what happened? Do you, do you want me to just spoil, like, jump to the final conclusion of when, when I stopped caring? Majin Buu is fat, and then he becomes tall and skinny, and then he becomes tiny. Yeah, something like that. My point is, uh, so I eventually got wise to it. I eventually decided, you know, I had enough. I had enough of watching this goddamn Raditz fight. I had enough of watching them work their way all the way back to finally just, like, get to somewhere and then rewind it all the way back to episode two. Because I think they couldn't... That's episode one. Episode one uh, did not air, if I remember correctly. Or they edited it. Are they edited in a way where it was like episode one mixed with episode two? <laughs> because like things happen, and uh, I guess mm -hmm. it was like too too uh, too controversial or something. I mean, like if I remember correctly, Gohan like gets caught into a river, and it, it's mainly because of like Go Goku's negligence. Like he he, he gets caught in a current in a river, and he's like going downstream. Very violently, if I remember. Now, you know why this happened? Why Goku's negligent? Because he's happy It's lucky. because he's got... It, it, no, no, well, well, it's because Goku has gone forward and backwards in time so many <laughs> times that he just can't remember. It's all Raditz's <laughs> fault, really. Anyways, my point... Where I was going with this before I got off track. Um, so, so... The last arc, the actual last arc, with Majin Buu, because, like, it's a pretty, it's, that's a pretty long saga right there, but my point is, uh, so, I remember it's like, uh, things happen, Kid Buu gets revealed, Goku has to fight Kid Buu, or, I don't know, maybe, maybe Goku and Vegeta, they fuse them, uh, you know, not important, point is, uh, there's this big confrontation with Kid Buu, and that's it. That's that's how DBZ wraps up. It's it's like they fight, everyone gets revived, the end. Go watch Dragon Ball Super whenever that came out, or I guess Dragon Ball GT because that's the more that was like supposedly the next step, and a lot of people think it's official, but apparently it's more of a what if scenario. Is that like what if like? We didn't ever go back to Raditz. <laughs> uh, it, that's like, what if we actually advanced the plot? What if, like, Raditz didn't die? Actually, like, what I, if think, Raditz I think Raditz died? does come back in that whole series, or maybe I'm confusing him with Nappa. I don't even remember, you know, it doesn't matter. I, I am really burned out now. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I'm going to write my own Dragon Ball Z, right? You're, you're, and you're... it's just going to, it's just going to focus on Raditz. No. And no. That's it. Like, it, it, it. He's not even. It's not even gonna have Goku. It's not gonna have Gohan. It's not gonna have Piccolo. It might have Krillin. Um. It'll definitely have that little mime fella. Uh. Chao Zhu. Chao Zhu or Chow whatever Zoo. his name is. Uh. Maybe it'll have um. What's what's his face? Wolf Fang Fist guy. Oh, Yamcha. Yeah, it'll have him, because he's the best character. And maybe it'll have that, like, um, that cat that can talk. Uh, I'm gonna mispronounce it, even though it's really I, simple. It starts with a P. I, I have no idea what the cat's name is. It doesn't matter. It's Yamcha's BFF. Yeah, that, that it'll have those people in. Like, Raditz will be the real hero. Like, he'll be like, well, hello, everybody. I'm Raditz. Uh, my name my name begins with Rad, so I gotta be cool, right? Uh, well, and then and then at the end of the episode, like they'll be like, next time on Raditz Ball Z. No, it'll, it'll just I can't be a preview for the first anymore. episode, and it'll just be like fifty episodes of the first episode. No, <laughs> that's my purgatory right there. Hello, everybody. It's me, Raditz. <laughs> uh, so on that note, I think we're going to have to end it here because, I mean, I'm burnt out now, like, legitimately. 
I just want to okay. lie on my bed and just chill out with some Pink Floyd or something. You gonna listen to the wall? Yeah. I, I think I'm okay. gonna need it just because... It's, uh, I don't know. I need I need to forget the last ten second minutes. Uh, I can't even count right now. Okay, point next is time. next time, not rats. I'm with guilt. Please just rat not, no, no. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> next time on Dragon Ball Z. No. <laughs> you know it'd be great if they were actually honest, but they were never. Honest.